Hi, this is James Hayton and welcome once again to the PhD Essentials podcast. In this episode, I'm going to talk about a question that I get asked all the time, which is how many papers should you be reading or how can you make sure that you're reading enough? Now, this is a difficult question to answer because you might read 20 papers very quickly, but they might not actually be of any benefit to you. So it could be lost time. So rather than asking how many papers should I be reading, it might be better to think of the problem in a slightly different way and start with the question, what are you reading for? What is it that you're trying to find out? What benefit are you trying to gain from that reading? If you think of it that way, it's at least possible to know whether you're succeeding because you know whether you found out that particular thing or you know whether you've gained an understanding of a particular concept. Whereas if you think in terms of volume or number of papers, then that's never actually achievable because there's always more that you could be doing. There's always more that you could be reading. So if you start by asking yourself, what are you reading for? Then the challenge becomes, how do I intelligently select what to read out of the thousands and thousands of sources which are available? So rather than thinking in terms of reading as much as possible, what are you going to read in order to solve the particular problem that you want to solve at any given time? So I'll give an example. Let's say you want to uh, get up to speed with the latest developments in a particular field that you're not familiar with. You could read 10, 20, 30, 40 papers but are you actually going to um, be able to get a good overview from taking these these random papers? Because if you're not familiar with the field, you don't know if they're representative. A far better way to approach it would be to find a review article which does that work for you. So they've already summarized uh, trends in the field and it's specifically designed for the purpose that you're actually looking for. Now, once you identify a paper that serves your purpose, then what you have to do is take the time necessary to make sure that you understand it. And the time invested, it might take you three or four readings before you actually fully understand what the paper is saying. It might take even more than that. But that time is far better spent understanding that one source than trying to read um, 30, 40, 50 other papers. So start with the question, what is it that you're trying to achieve through the literature and then try and find the best quality sources in order to help you to answer that particular question.